Hey everyone, I have a After Effects question that I get asked so many times that I thought I should make a specific video to clarify this for everyone. Zoe in my After Effects course on Udemy has asked, I have created an animation where I moved an object and I wanted it to stay still in the middle so I copied a keyframe and so that it should stay in the same spot, but it still moves. This is what's happening. This is, drives people crazy. And here's the simple solution, which is so weird, but this is basically what ha happens to every single new After Effects user. They add an animation. See, we have our square here. We started our square here. We move it to here. We keep it there with another keyframe that we've duplicated, and then we move it over here. So you would think that between this point and this point, it would stay still because there is no other keyframe in there. But if we play through this, whoops, there is motion. Oh gosh, okay, so I'm going to try to fix that. I'm gonna go in here and while it starts to move up, I'm going to move it back just to tweak it a little bit back. Oh my God, that made it worse. Okay, the fact is that your keyframes are there. They are in the right spot. What's going on is a little thing called keyframe interpolation. So if you right click, if you select your keyframes, go ahead and select all of them and right click and select keyframe interpolation. You come up with this little box that says spatial inter interpolation Bezier. You're going to click on that drop down, set it to linear. That's going to tell After Effects that when you set a keyframe, you want it to stay at that keyframe. You don't want it to create a bezier of space, meaning that it will r move across those keyframes. And now you will have an object that sticks there and doesn't move. So that is the answer to everyone's problem with After Effects where you create put two keyframes down and it still moves when you don't want it to. So I hope that answers your question, Zoe. I am so happy to have you in the course and for everyone else, I hope this helped you too. Thanks a lot and we'll see you in another tutorial.